my name is Colin and I am the owner of the Ctrento3 YouTube channel. I'm working on my private pilot license in real life and as I continue to develop as a pilot, I started to use flight simulators to help accentuate my training at home. One of the tools I use with flight simulators is called VATSIM. VATSIM is super helpful as it connects you to realistic air traffic controllers who have been trained to do their jobs. This makes your air traffic control calls in real life a lot better and for me, a lot more stress free. That's essentially what most of this channel is. I post flights and all different sorts of stuff of me messing around on that sim. But this series is a little bit different. As I kept flying more and more, I started to wonder if maybe I should become a bat sim air traffic controller. And that's exactly what this series is. So this is the third part of how I became a bat sim air traffic controller. Hey dude, I'm on the road to a thousand. Uh, last video got us like 58, I think. So. Oh, that's that's awesome. Yeah, they got you. They got you popular, man. Like 3,000 uh -oh. on that one, I think. <laughs> So we'll be in Sweatbox 1 today, and so we're going to start off with uh, VFR clearances. Gotcha. Um, we'll just kind of go through those and make sure you feel good with those. Then we'll hit IFR real quick, um, and that'll prepare us to actually start moving those aircraft that we just cleared. Um, so once we go through everything, you feel good with the terminology, um, we'll go ahead and start discussing um, how, to, how to actually do ground movements um, gotcha. as a ground controller. All right, I'll go ahead and give you your briefing, and then we can just start um, getting into it. So right now, Memphis is um, north flow. We are departing tree six left and tree six center. We have arrivals tree six left and tree six right. Um, you have blanket crossings over, actually, no, you don't have blanket crossings over runway nine, that's my fault. <laughs> um, so you'll need to contact me to be able to cross aircraft over that. Cool. Um, nobody on the ground has clearance and nobody on the ground is moving. Um, do you have any questions? No, sir. All right, uh, your controls, Tango Lima. My control is Charlie Romeo. Memphis Ground, number 407, Sierra Tango, Cirrus SR22, looking for VFR eastbound. And Cirrus 40, Sierra Tango. Um, Please request standby. And Cirrus 40, Sierra Tango. I got your clearance for you, Drazen, ready, copy. And we're ready to copy uh, Cirrus 407 Sierra Tango. And Cirrus 407 Sierra Tango, you're cleared through the class Bravo International Airspace. Maintain VFR at or below 3000. Departure frequency is 125.8 and squawk 0767. And we're cleared through the class Bravo Airspace. We'll maintain VFR at or below 3000 feet. Departure 125.8, and we have 0767 for our squawk for Cirrus 7 Sierra Tango. And Cirrus 7 Sierra Tango, read back is correct. No tugs over there. Contact me. We're ready for taxi. We'll give you a call for taxi, uh, Cirrus 7 Sierra Tango. And Memphis Ground, Envoy 3307, looking for IFR to the Northwest Arkansas National Airport. And Envoy 3307, uh, um, you are cleared to the Arkansas National Airport via the Childer 5 departure and SWA transition, then as filed. Climb maintain 5000, expect flight oval 2101 10 minutes after departure. Departure frequency is 125.8 and squawk 4320. And we are cleared to the Northwest Arkansas National Airport via the Childer 5 departure and wall transition. We will maintain 5,000. We're expecting flight level 210, one zero minutes after departure. Departure frequency 125.8. We are squawking 4320 for Envoy 3307. And Envoy 3307, read back is correct. Contact me when ready for push. And we'll give you a call when ready for push, Envoy 3307. Um, so I've got a question for you. Yep. Um, in, I guess, in relativity to the Memphis airport, which cardinal direction is um, X and A? Uh, X and A, that's, oh, it's west, so I have to correct that. Oops. All right, here, I'll give them the immediate clearance. Ready? Mm -hmm. Envoy 3307. Uh, my apologies, altitude file is incorrect. Can you accept flight level 220? Uh, we can take flight level 200 for Envoy 3307. All right, Envoy 3307. 
Uh, under pressure, maintain. Sorry, five five thousand, and expect flight level two zero zero one zero minutes after departure. And we'll expect flight level two zero zero one zero minutes after departure for envoy thirty three zero seven. Number thirty three zero seven, read back correct. Thanks, and apologies for the uh, call me ready for push. And no worries, we'll give you a call when we're ready for push. Envoy thirty three zero seven. You know why that was that I did that? I tripped myself up because we had uh, Nashville the other day. And I forgot Nashville is, is east. I keep getting those two airports mixed up. That's probably not a good thing. I'm going <laughs> to admit, admit to it because... Uh, <laughs> that's pretty funny. That's true. And Memphis Ground, November 211, Lima Alpha, a Bell 206, looking for VFR northbound. And November 211, Lima Alpha, clearance on request, standby. Answer request for standing by. Uh, number two one one Lima Alpha. And number two one one Lima Alpha. I have your clearance for you. Advise and ready to copy. Yeah, ready to copy. Number two one one Lima Alpha. Number two one one Lima Alpha. You're cleared through the class Bravo airspace. Maintain VFR at or below three thousand. Departure frequency is one two five decimal eight and squawk one five two three. We're clear to the class Bravo airspace. We'll maintain VFR at or below 3,000 feet. Uh, Departure frequency 125.8. We're squawking 1522 for November 211 Lima Alpha. And November 211 Lima Alpha. Squawk is 1523. Yeah, squawking 1523. Apologies. November 211 Lima Alpha. November 211 Lima Alpha. Read back. He is correct. Contact me right for taxi. Yeah, we'll give you a call for taxi. November 211 Lima Alpha. Yeah, Memphis Ground, Southwest 1534, looking for IFR to Dallas left field. Southwest 1534. Uh, I have no SIF view on the departure. You have a departure you want to take? Uh, sorry about that. We can take the uh, Childer 5 departure for uh, Southwest 1534. All right. Southwest 1534, I got your clearance for you. Advise and ready to copy. We're ready to copy clearance, Southwest 1534. Southwest 1534, you're cleared to the Dallas Love Airport via the Childer 5 departure and SWA transition. Then as filed, climb maintain 5,000. Expect, sorry, maintain, sorry, yeah, maintain 5,000. Expect <laughs> level 34010 minutes after departure. Departure frequency is 125.8. And squawk five six six six. Not a good squawk. Good mess. <laughs> and we're clear to the Dallas Love Field while the Childer five departure ends while transition then as filed. We'll maintain five thousand, expecting tree four zero one zero minutes after departure. We have departure at twenty five point eight, squawking five six 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 for southwest southwest fifteen thirty four. Southwest fifteen thirty four. It's okay. We all have our mouths full today. Um, read back is correct. Contact me when ready for push. No contact you for push. Southwest fifteen thirty four. Memphis ground FedEx five fifty seven heavy looking for IFR to JFK airport. <sighs> that uh, that's a lot. All right. Um, FedEx five fifty seven heavy. Answer my quest. Stand by for me. Yeah, we're standing by FedEx 557 Heavy. Yeah, Memphis Ground Envoy 3724 looking for IFR to Miami. Envoy 3724, clearance on request, standby your number two. Yeah, number two in the queue, Envoy 3724. Okay, FedEx uh, 557. I got your clearance for you, advise and ready to copy. Yeah, we're ready to copy that, FedEx uh, 557 Heavy. All right, FedEx 557 Heavy, altitude filed is incorrect. Can you accept tree 70 or tree 50? Yeah, we can take tree seven zero for FedEx five fifty seven heavy. Thanks. All right. 
Sorry, every time I hit amend, it, it prints out the sheet. It's super loud. Um, FedEx. <laughs> Actually, can I close that real quick? We're not really using it. Can I close it? I would, yeah. Yeah, it's very, <laughs> very loud. <laughs> no worries. It's almost obnoxious. All right. Um, FedEx 557 Heavy. Uh, you're cleared to the JFK International Airport via the GOAT 7 departure DAB transition and as filed. I maintain 5,000, expect flight level 370, minutes after departure. Departure frequency is 125.8 and squawk 5663. And we're clear to the John F. Kennedy International Airport via the GETS 7 departure DIAB transition, then as filed. We'll maintain 5, expecting tree 7010 after. Uh, departure 125.8, squawking 5663 for FedEx 557 Heavy. FedEx 557 Heavy, read back is correct. Contact me when ready for taxi. We'll give you a call when ready for taxi, FedEx 557 Heavy. Thanks. Envoy uh, 3724. Looks like you had an issue with your clearance here. Uh, according to your equipment acceptance, you cannot handle the BB King 7. Um, so I'm going to have a slight reroute for you here. Just a second. At Memphis Ground, we actually meant to file as a slant Lima for Envoy 3724. Apologies. Envoy 3724, all good. I'll go ahead and get that in now. All right, Envoy 3724, I got your clearance for you. Advisor, ready to copy. And uh, we're ready to copy for Envoy 3724. Envoy 3724, you are cleared to the Miami International Airport via the BB King 7 departure Kermi transition and is filed. I maintain 5,000. Expect flight level 35010 minutes after departure. Departure frequency is on 125.8 and squawk 7673. And we are clear to the Miami International Airport by the BB King 7 departure. Kermit transition then as filed. We maintain 5, expecting tree 5010 after. Departure 125.8, squawking 7673 for Envoy 3724. Envoy 3724, read back is correct. Um, yeah, contact me when ready for push. Yeah, we'll give you a call when ready for push. Envoy 3724, thanks. All right, well, uh, how do we feel so far? Uh, I feel pretty good. I'm uh, making sure I'm using these charts a lot. I think I got most of the mistakes, I, other than the first mistake I made with X and A. Other than that, I think I got most of them. Uh, yeah, you, you caught everything I had. It was all pretty simple stuff. You may see some of it a lot. You may not see some of it a lot. Um, but, yeah, you're, you're definitely looking out for the right thing, so that's, that's important. There you go, guys. That is the end of the video. I know the cutoff seems kind of weird when we're talking, but that's because this lesson actually has two parts. We talked about IFR clearances and VFR clearances, and then we talked about ground movement. The next video is going to be covering ground movements, as I'm trying to kind of get every video to have its own separate topic, and I just combine clearances in general. And that's it. That's the video. I wanted to quickly thank you guys for everything that you've said in the past videos and streams. You guys checking in, uh, checking in on me, talking about the progress. I really appreciate it guys it means the world to me so once again if you do enjoy this video you should like subscribe do whatever you can help the channel i'm a small content creator we're on our way into a thousand subs and another big announcement at a thousand subs we are going to do a group flight so if you want to sign up for that make sure that you join in to my live streams and i will provide you a discord link if you ask for it you can join the discord and eventually join the live stream for that once again guys i hope you enjoyed i'll see you in the next one, be safe.